am Lisa Michelle. I like creating content for new and aspiring entrepreneurs. So anyone who just wants to make a little bit of money online. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I create eBooks and using a tool called designer. It's really quick. So you can either create eBooks to sell or you can use uh, eBooks as a lead magnet to grow your email subscriber list. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're here on the home page of designer. And after you log in, you'll come to this page where it'll show all of your, all of your eBooks and mine are down here since nobody can see them. And if you had drafts, they'd be here and whatever images you uploaded uh, for your book, you, they'd be under this tab. So we're going to create an eBook and here are your, all your options. You can, and this is what the pro plan that I have. You can import from a blog post. So you can just get the URL from your blog post, put it in here and use that as your ebook. You can import documents from word, from Google docs. You can start from one of their templates. You can later on create a, a PDF that you can convert to a flip book, or you can start from scratch and just go ahead and just, I guess, start typing in your um, ebook. So what we're going to do first is upload or import a blog post URL. All right. So I have my, let's see, my blog posts here. I'm going to go ahead and copy and, and just paste this URL and click on fetch and it will find my blog post. Now you can add tags to your project, but that just helps designer know what the templates to offer you. You'll see the next step. So I don't put anything here. So I click on next. And this is what I was saying. If we had put tags in, it would, I guess kind of know what type of book cover we might want, but I just leave it because this will kind of narrow it down, but I want to see all of them so I can just kind of decide which one I want. Here you can change the letter, the page size. It starts out uh, with letter as a default, eight and a half by 11. You can change it so that it's legal or six by nine, eight, a five, a four. So if, I'm just going to leave it. I'll just leave it the way it is for now but I would normally change it to a six by nine book. Now this book is, uh, I think it's how to start an Etsy shop, something like that. So I would look for a cover that would make sense, right? That would kind of match up with the content that's inside. And for the purpose of this video, you can see all the templates that they have. As I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to use this one that I saw up here. You can preview them first so you can see how they might look on the inside. It shows you the cover, the table of contents may look like, and what the back cover looks like. That's fine. So we'll go ahead and use this. And I was populating my blog post. All right. So we'll change the title. Um, okay. It's really big, but that's fine. Um, start what happened did it go away all right yeah it's it's really big it's definitely let's just go ahead and make this smaller how to start an Etsy shop all right so that is that you have the cover here. You don't have to leave your, your uh, name if you don't want to. So this blue box here, if you click on that, it gives you the option to delete any of these elements and you can change the color. So over here, if you click on elements, you can add a new page, a page break. You can embed audio and video, uh, calls to action, other media and things like that. With text, you can add a heading, you can add lists. And if you wanted to add a hyperlink so that someone can click on it and take it to another page, you can do that. You can add a divider onto your page and you can add images. If you have, if you don't know, if you don't have your own images and you just kind of need help, you can go to suggested images and type in, you know, whatever the topic is and they'll provide you with some royalty free images. You can add in different shapes and artwork related to whatever, you know, your content is, is about. 
You can change the layout, add columns, things like that, or you can change the cover, the cover template. So right now, I will just change the color of the font just so just so you can see. Um, why did I do that? Okay, so you can make it whatever color you want. You can also change the text and you, know, you can play around to see which one looks best on your cover. All right, I'll change that to make this black as well. And you can spend you can spend a lot of time on this. Just um, you make it look the way you want. All right. And sometimes the formatting is a little wonky and then you have to go in and just fix it. So if you have you know, a big blank space there, you can try to move things up. If there's not enough room, it won't go. It'll just stay right down there. So I can either leave this or I can make it smaller and move it up. I'm not, I'm not gonna do either right now, but you can see how it, it picked up all the text and it picks up all of the you know headers and subheaders, which is good. Now the font for this is 17. So I would go in and change the font size. And the way you do that is I click on here on this box to highlight the text. Click here where it says make changes to all elements. This way when I change the size of this text, it'll change it for all of the other subtext. And I'll reduce it to maybe 13. So then this heading, I'll do the same thing. Click make changes to all elements. And then maybe bring it down to a 20. All right, so now I should have enough room to move that up and then I'll just go through and then you know just kind of clean up where you see too much white space all right and that's that doesn't usually take that long unless you've got a really long ebook then it may take you a little bit longer to do but it's still much easier than writing <laughs> than writing an ebook from scratch right don't you think okay and then if you end up with blank pages, you can just go here and then click on delete and it'll delete the page. All right, so it does a pretty good job with that. And if you have hyperlinks in your blog post, it will keep a lot of them. Some of them, it may not. So you have to just kind of roll over it just to make sure. This is the back cover. So you can just type in whatever you want. If you want to put a picture of yourself here in the, in the corner as the author, you could, you could definitely do that. All right, so that's the, this is our, oh, well, I didn't change the cover. So if you want to change the cover, um, you go up here and go to elements. I'm sorry, click here. Well, you can go to elements, but you can click on this little picture as well. And you can either upload one of your own images or like I said, go to suggested images. So if you go to suggested images and we just put in business, for example, You'll get a lot of pictures of people working and laptops and things like that. Um, and then you could just, let's say I wanted this one. You click on it and it'll, it'll put it in there for you. But if you want, you can upload your own image. Um, you know, if you don't find anything here that you like. All right. You can definitely put your own image in there. All right. So let's click on this one let's see how that one looks okay I don't know why I put it put it there we want to make the background let's see add background I did upload a video showing how you can use a free ConvertKit account to create an email list using lead magnets. So I'll go ahead and link that video right here and you can check it out. So while we're waiting for this to upload, what kind of ebook would you create? So let me know in the comments below. I would like to know. Okay. So we have our background image here. 
All right. And, you know, if you, you can move things around, so I would definitely move, um, you know, my name down so it's not covered up. With the background image, you can, you can move it around <laughs> a little bit. Um, so if you had it, let's say if you wanted it to, hold on one sec. If you wanted it to, uh, repeat, sorry, if you wanted to repeat, you could select here and then, you know, click on the squares to kind of adjust where it is. So you can kind of play around with it depending on what your background image is. All right. So that's it. So what I would suggest is if you if you're using a blog post for your ebook, I would definitely suggest you uh, resize the text before you put it in here. This way you don't have to do all that adjusting, you know, moving things up. You wouldn't have all these blank spaces. So you go ahead and just get the text from your blog post, put it in something like Google Docs, uh, size it down so that it's the size that you want. And then when you put in the ebook, everything should be formatted uh, correctly. All right. So we'll go ahead and save it and let's publish it and we'll publish it for uh, PDF and then export it. And then we'll take a look at it. Now, if you want to keep it as a flip book, you could do what I just did. And then you click here and then you'll see how it flips like a flip book. Okay. If you want to download it as an ebook, you would download it um, as a PDF file. And then we'll see how finder. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's it as an ebook. So if you were selling it or if you were giving it away as a lead magnet, you can decide whether you want it to be a flip book or an ebook. All right. So that's that way. Now let's go back to the beginning. And now we're going to create an ebook from a Google Doc. So what you do with the Google Doc is go to your document, right? And you go to file and share. And then you want to copy this link and you want to make sure that anyone on the internet with the link um, can see it. Otherwise it won't work. So you copy that, paste the link here, fetch it again, and then click on next. And then what is this about? I think it's, oh, okay, it's about blog posts. So you can, I'll click on blogging and hmm, let's see. Okay, how to do blogging. Let's just leave this cover that they suggested and see how that does. All right, so the size is a little off. That's all right. It's easy enough to fix. I would much rather do this than have to write an ebook from scratch. I'll tell you that. Definitely. And this is, uh, it, yeah. This is not even the name of the book anyway, so I don't really need this. 10 different types of blog posts. Yeah, that's basically, yeah, that's, that's the title. So we'll change this one. And I'll get rid of this one. We'll center it. 10, oops, types, blog posts. Oops. Okay. Make it a little bit smaller. I hope this doesn't seem complicated because it's really not. It's really not. Okay. Uh, you can edit this, make it black, I guess. That's fine. All right. I, I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to show you, um, that you can use 
anything. You can use a blog post URL. You can use a Google Doc. And you can see in this one, because the text was, well, it's still the same, pretty much the same size. But I didn't have to do as much adjusting on this one. But yeah, if you're going to use it, definitely put it in Google Docs and adjust the size first. And this way, when you come in here, you don't have to do, you know, much um, in, in the way of adjusting the text. OK, now, um, if you do want to sell ebooks and not necessarily on Amazon KDP, but maybe on your own website or on your social media pages or in emails, um, I will link the video that I did on PayHip which shows you how you can sell digital products anywhere. All right. So if you're interested in designer, um, I'll leave a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. So if you do uh, get a subscription, I will get a small percentage. Thank you very much. And um, if you use the link, I think it's, there's a one time charge of $27. If you get it otherwise without the link, I think it's $29 a month. So really it's a no brainer if you're going to do it. I would suggest you use the link and it's a lot cheaper. That's how I got it. I paid the $27 uh, for one time and I've definitely got my money's worth because I've been using this and cranking out uh, eBooks <laughs> to use as lead magnets for my uh, email subscriber list. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description and I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, if you learned anything new, please go ahead and like it and subscribe. So you get notifications of all of my upcoming videos. So, that is going to do it for me. And until next time, peace.